Dear child of God, the blessings of the Lord are coming to you. The blessings of the Lord is visiting your home. The blessings of the Lord is visiting your life. And you would have it in full. You would have it more than enough in the name of Jesus. God will make you to have that prosperity that will cause you never to experience pain and sorrow ever again in the mighty name of Jesus. You would not understand what lack is all about no more because he has promised you that no good thing will he withhold from you. Dear child of God, the blessings of the Lord is coming and he will make your habitation the habitation of prosperity. You would have blessings in full and you would have blessings in surplus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He has seen your righteousness. He knows that you have been true to him. He knows that you have been faithful and is telling you soon you will get the reward and the blessings will come in overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 48 verse 15 says, I, even I, have spoken. Yea, I have called him, I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. Dear child of God, the Lord has spoken. He's bringing his word to you right now. And he's telling you, he's bringing you to your prosperity. He's bringing you to your blessings. He says, I have brought him and he shall make his way prosperous. Dear child of God, God will make your way prosperous. That everywhere you go to, you'll find the blessings of the Lord pursuing you. You'll find the blessings of the Lord following you. You find the blessings of the Lord overtake you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your seeds will be blessed. Everyone that are connected to you will experience the blessings of God. Zechariah chapter 8 verse 12 says, For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give a fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their dew. And I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. Dear child of God, you would possess all the blessings of God. As you have been seeking him first, he said every other thing will be added unto you. Dear child of God, every single thing you need, every single thing you have been praying for to be added into your life, is telling you every single one of them will come into your life. Every single one of them will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, and make the habitation of thy righteousness prosperous. Dear child of God, you have seen all the good works you have been doing and has found in Job chapter 8 verse 6, your habitation will be filled with prosperity. The blessings of the Lord will come reside with you. The blessings of the Lord will come stay in your home in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord wants you to do well. And as the scripture says in 3 John 2, Dear friends, I pray that you are doing well in every way. The Lord is telling you today that you will do well in every way. He will make your way prosperous. He will make everything that you do have the blessings. He will make all the things that you do have the blessings of the Lord. Like he said very clear to us. He said his wish is that you be prosperous. Is that you have good success. Dear child of God, you will know what success is all about. You will know the blessings of the Lord and you will enjoy it. The Lord will give you the strength, the might and the grace to be able to enjoy it. He said, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Dear child of God, you will prosper in all things. In your marriage, you will see prosperity. You would have a blossoming home. You would have a home that is standing firm. People around you will come to ask you what is the secret to these blessings. Because the Lord is making everything that you do prosperous. In your love life, in your relationships, you will see increase, you will see prosperity. You will see the blessings of the Lord. In the businesses that you do, dear child of God, you will see the blessings and the prosperity of the Lord. In your health, he said, and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Dear child of God, even in your health, you will be prosperous in the mighty name of Jesus. It will be evidential that you are making progress in every way, in everything you do. He said, I pray that you are doing well in every way. Dear child of God, you will spread abroad because the Lord himself 
will cause your coast to enlarge so greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be comfort in your life. There will be comfort in your home. There will be comfort overflow in everything that you do. He said, my cities will once more overflow with prosperity. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. He said, and once more, the Lord will comfort Zion and validate his choice of Jerusalem. And dear child of God, the Lord is bringing his validation upon you and is telling you, yes, it's your set time to be blessed. It is sealed and it is stamped from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. As found in Psalms 102 verse 13, it says, yeah, your set time has come, your time to be favored, your time to be blessed. You have prayed for it and you have waited for it. And now it is telling you, my child, it is time for you to enjoy the due blessings. The blessings that are rightfully yours, they have become overdue. And it's telling you, you will walk into each and every one of them. God's abundant provision will be made available unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will know what it means to enjoy plenty. You would know what it means to enjoy rest in the mighty name of Jesus. He said you would have everything you need because your great I am is providing for you. Dear child of God, every single thing you need, God himself will provide for you. He knows everything that you need to have to enjoy life. And he's telling you every of these things will come. Every of these things you need to have to enjoy your life. He's telling you you would receive them. They'll come into your life and they'll come into your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, Psalm 30 verse 6 says, And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Dear child of God, you shall never be afraid anymore. You shall have no reason to worry anymore. You will have no reason to be in want anymore. Because the God that you serve is providing for you. He made it very clear to you. He said that you shall not want. You shall not lack any good thing. Dear child of God, you will not want anything. The Lord is your shepherd and he will provide everything that you will need. He would make sure you have the blessings in full. You would have everything that you want. When things are going south, when things are not going as smooth as you want them, keep trusting in God because he has assured you already that your blessings will come into your life. It will come into your hands. You will see them and you will testify of each and every one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear child of God, do not worry because the Lord knows everything that you need. Do not bother your head for whatever reason, because the blessings will come. It will come to you, and not just to you, it will come to your children as well. It will come to your seeds, and they will all be prosperous. He says, for the seed shall be prosperous. He's speaking about your children, and I and the children that God has given to me are for signs and wonders. Every single one, as found in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, connected to you will be for signs and wonders as the scripture had established it so it will be for you and for your family in the mighty name of jesus you will see the blessings of the lord your children will see the blessings of the lord your grandchildren will see the blessings of the lord everyone connected to you will see the blessings of the lord and you will not experience lack ever again you would not know what it means to be in want or in need in the mighty name of jesus because God himself has settled you from heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, you shall dance and you shall rejoice because God is filling your home with his blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God will turn the situation around and cause you to rejoice forever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.